Good evening. I guess I should have been watching where I was going. I was only hoping to bump into some wildlife on my walk. I hope I didn't startle you. I do understand that these aren't the safest parts this late at night and that there are a lot of bad people out there. Hmm, that's good. I've been told that I look rather threatening and dominant, uh, intimidating, uh, but I guess you're one of the lucky ones that doesn't think that. Uh, I sincerely apologize. I was just captivated by seeing such a beautiful sight, and I must have not been concentrating. <laughs> well, I was actually captivated by seeing you. You must be complimented all the time, I'm guessing. That's why you take walks all by your lonesome self in these dense woods where your only source of light is a full moon. And there isn't another human, um, another person for miles. You want to have a moment where you don't have people fawning over you, right? <laughs> I'm only joking. I know that sometimes we just need to get some fresh air. I mean, being cooped up inside all the time can be life draining. And sometimes you just need to... <sighs> Breathe in that fresh oxygen. Get the heart beating and the uh, blood pumping. <laughs> I guess you could say that. I have been cooped up indoors for what seems like an eternity. And yeah, <laughs> I'll admit it. I do look like I've been dead for 200 years. Oh, what was that? Uh, you never said how long I've been dead for. Oh, huh. I must have not been paying attention. I'm sorry, I'm just still so captivated by your beauty. I guess let's just ignore that 200 years part and let's just pretend I said, yeah, I admit I look like shit. <laughs> well, where are you headed? Uh, maybe I could tie you along and make sure that nobody or nothing hurts you. I would hate for something to happen to such an innocent looking person like yourself. Being out this late can bring upon unfortunate events to a poor, unsuspecting soul. Well, I mean, come on, look at me, come on, look at me, do I look like someone who would hurt someone like you, come on, at least let me walk you to the nearest building. Hmm, thank you. All right, let's go. So. What's your name? Huh? What do you mean what happened? I asked you if I could tell you along and you said yes. Do you not remember that? Hmm. If you don't remember telling me it's okay to walk you, uh, I think it's in your best interest that I tell you along. I'm sure when you get home, um, your friends are going to wonder how you got there safely. So, <laughs> make sure you tell them that good old Jacob protected you. I'm Jacob. And no, I'm not a brooding werewolf. I know I mentioned the full moon and full moon werewolves, blah, 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 blah. Uh, no, sorry to disappoint you. And, um, but... Anyways, your name would be? Hmm, that's a very nice name. A nice name for a nice person like you. So, be honest. And, you know, after all, it is just you and I alone for the next two and three quarter of a mile in these dark, dense woods. 
Why are you out this late at night? Haven't you heard about all those rumors about some blood-sucking maniac that's been terrorizing the city? Hmm. I guess you're right. They did say city and not the woods. I... I guess the woods would be too easy. I said the woods would be too cliche. Uh, but uh, was it really to get out of the house? Or was there something else on your mind? Come on. Come on. <laughs> you, you can tell me. Don't make me have to go deep inside of you and poke and prod at that brain of yours. I have been told I'm a great listener. Hmm. Yeah. Some humans, uh, some people's health can deteriorate over time and, you know, maybe, maybe we all need to take some time and, you know, we all need to take the time that we have and just think, you know, late night walks are the best time for feeding. Thinking. Uh, I come out here to think too. I think about how I'm going to feed myself. I mean... With everything closing again, it's becoming harder and harder to find someone to satiate my cravings. Hmm. Not exactly food. More like blood. What's the matter? Was it something I said? Human. Ah, 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 ah. Let's not cause a scene here. It would be in your best interest to not make this any more difficult than it needs to be. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. You're in my hands now. Shh. There's a good human. be shocked to know how difficult it is to find another human without having to resort to extreme measures. Did you want to know what I was thinking when I first saw you? I thought, I thought to myself, such a lovely, beautiful, stupid, to be out here this late. I might as well take this opportunity, as I would not have one for a while, and I've been awfully hungry, and I have not fed in quite some time. Hmm. Don't worry, you don't have to struggle against my crib much longer. I'm almost done having my fill of your tasty life essence. Thank you, human. 
and sucking maniac that's been on the news. However, instead of being evil towards you, you're so beautiful. I'll just curse you with craving my bite. That way, you won't feel lonely anymore. And I will always have a blood bag to satiate my hunger. I'll drop you off at your home. And when you wake up, when the sun rises in exactly six hours, your neck will be sore, but you will pass it off as you sleeping on it wrong. Is that understood? You won't remember any of this, but 